to answer that. Look, uh, I said at the outset, if you're holding out for a candidate who has never made a mistake or never acknowledged one, you probably won't be voting very often. <laughs> Not just in this race, but in any. Uh, I see the Congressman's challenge here. In fact, I'll raise you one. Uh, Congressman, will you join me now in turning down all contributions from lobbyists? Let's become the first two candidates in a congressional race in America to take that stand. Will you join me? Congressman Coffin? <laughs> well, I just think it's, it's, it's just ridiculous. This is a this is a ridiculous Washington game. You have lobbyists on your campaign. You have if you think it's wrong, get those lobbyists off your campaign. Let me tell you this. This is the difference between us. People decide to support me based on what I do and what I believe in. I think, you know, I went to the United States Army and the Marine Corps. You went to Harvard and Yale. I don't know what they taught you about honor and integrity there. But let me tell you, uh, uh, let, let's have a standard. Let's, let's adopt a standard. Here's a standard. Let's have a standard for this campaign. Let's adopt the standard that the men and women who serve this country in uniform have. I shall not lie, cheat, nor steal, nor tolerate those among us who do. Let's have that standard for this campaign. Thank you. deeply disappointed by the Congressman's decision to question my honor and integrity. I made it clear at the outset, and as I've done for the last 18 months, that I revere the Congressman's service to our country. His patriotism is not in question, nor should it be. In fact, I've told my staff, and they can tell you, I will fire anyone on my team uh, who challenges the Congressman's commitment to our country. That is not at issue. I just want to know where you compromise yourself based on a contribution. Where have you compromised yourself based on a contribution? It's, it's only in Washington that you could be interrupted while trying to pay your opponent a compliment. Sorry. <laughs> 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 okay. uh, if you're asking me, Congressman, whether I will agree not to lie or cheat or steal, that's an easy commitment to oh. make for both of us. No, I, I wait. Okay, go ahead. Then I'm gonna. I'm gonna. <laughs> it's really hard. To, Gives some evidence of how hard it is to find common ground in Washington right here on this stage. Not just because two candidates disagree on the best way to reform campaign finance, which as I recall was the question once upon a time, but also because instead of confining their disagreement to the issues, sometimes candidates challenge their opponent's integrity. Uh, I'm disappointed by that decision. It, it, okay. It's not, I'm challenging my integrity. It's a good proposal to challenge your integrity. Uh, your attacks against Michael Bennett uh, in 2010, they called dishonest and they called sleazy. Uh, and so, by so you did not rise to the very standard that you agreed to today uh, in this in this debate. Uh, that that military standard of integrity uh, was not honored in your last campaign. I want you to honor it in this campaign because what you did to Michael Bennett was fundamentally wrong and was dishonest. Yeah.